Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. My name is Matthew Sturkey with Stone Mill Log and Timber Homes. Thanks for joining us. The last couple of weeks, we've been talking about kitchen design and tips for the ideal kitchen design. The next couple of weeks, we're going to talk about electrical considerations and tips for electrical rough in for the log and timber structure. And I get asked this question a pretty good bit, and it a lot of times has to do with uh, getting ready for us to do our shell erection and dry in, in, uh, installation. And a lot of uh, clients will ask, hey, do I need to have my electrician or plumber or mechanical contractor on site during our construction of the log and timber scope and components? And the answer is the electrician needs to be on site, but the plumber and the mechanical contractor do not. Um, the plumbing does not go in the log walls. The mechanical does not go in the log walls. So it is not necessary for those two trades to be on site, but it is imperative for the electrician to be on site. And what I wanted to talk about today is tips for electrical rough in considerations to make sure that you're ready for that coordination between our crew who's doing the log and timber frame erection and dry in and the electrician doing his rough in specifically in the walls and the second floor system and the roof and the porch roofs. And what I've done is included a screenshot today of a just rough, very crude electrical plan, electrical rough in plan that was generated for a client today for a project that we're currently doing. And it is very bare bones. This is not complete. It's not gonna show everything, but specifically the areas where it's important for us uh, in this particular project, it was a chinked log profile. And so we have electrical considerations in the second floor in the roof system and in the porch roof. And so we were uh, today going through and marking out locations of ceiling fans and chandeliers that are gonna go on the roof system. We were marking out locations for uh, overhead lights or ceiling fans that are gonna go on the floor system and then ceiling fans and overhead lights that are gonna go in the porch roof. So we uh, specified and marked uh, certain ceiling fans locations in uh, the great room or the living room, the chandelier location over the dining room table. Uh, if you look at our framing plans, it shows where the rafter spacing is. And so we're centering up ceiling fans between rafters and then uh, centering those off the front wall, you know, towards the ridge. So. The tip for the day is to take our uh, plan, which is going to have the uh, floor plans, it's gonna have the roof framing plans, the second floor framing plans, and just sketch in where you would like to have overhead lights and ceiling fans and wall sconces and other electrical considerations that would need to be roughed in during the construction of our log and timber portion. So. It's not difficult. You don't have to have uh, an architect draw an electrical plan. You don't have to get some fancy plan drawn. All we need to know is those considerations so that when your electrician is on site working in conjunction with our crew, that they know exactly where they're gonna be roughing in the electrical wiring for the overhead ceiling fans and overhead lights and for you know certain wall sconces when you're doing a log on log profile where it's a log on log stack the electrician will be running and pulling wiring as we stack each course of log so it's good to know where switches are going to go and wall outlets are going to go it's going it's good to know where wall sconces are going to go certain things like that so Electrical considerations are really important. Start thinking ahead, start planning ahead about where you want things to go. Uh, like I said, you can use our plan just to draw, rough draw certain things into uh, that particular plan, which is going to in turn help our crew when we get on site, know where you want things to go and be able to work in conjunction with your electrician who is on site, who's gonna be roughing that in. So. Hopefully this is helpful. We'll take a deeper dive into electrical considerations next week, but I wanted just to kind of talk a little bit on the surface about it. 
get you to start thinking ahead. If you are going to be doing construction, you know, this spring, summer, or fall, start looking at that, start, you know, having those conversations with us and we'll certainly help you, you know, through that as much as we can and, and certainly work in conjunction with your electrician on that as well. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime or your sales consultant anytime. Uh, we uh, hope this has been helpful for you. Look forward to you joining us uh, next week for more Tip Tuesday. Until then, enjoy this weather. Uh, take care and stay safe and healthy. See you later.